Hi everyone, this is Lily Rose. Welcome to my channel. Today I'll be doing an automatic writing from the DM to the DF. Let's see what's in the connective today and we'll be pulling some cards on this as well. All right, so let's jump right in. DM to DF. I've been allowing myself to daydream about you lately and I know this could be doing me more harm than good. But right now, I really don't care. I need to feel like we'll be together soon, like we're already in union and building on this relationship. Since you confessed about how you felt about me, I've been smiling from ear to ear. Everything seems so frivolous and nothing else seems to matter now that I know you're spiritually mine. I need your love, your touch, your kiss. Allow me to step back into your space and take what's rightfully mine. You still come to me at night, telling me how you're doing and asking me to make changes that would bring us closer together. You've been resisting temptation and holding down the fort for the two of us, and that's not fair. I need to step, step it up as well and play my role in all of this. My heart is with you always, and I'll never forget you, DF. Please don't forget me. I love you like you won't believe. I don't even have the words anymore to express how I feel. This energy is crazy, heavy, explosive. I'll have to keep myself busy to respect your wishes. I need to change these bad habits, and I'm working hard to get this done for you. I feel like I've wasted so much time and energy on the wrong people, and have been investing in the wrong situations. I want to clean up my act and show you how proud you can be of me one day. I'm always in the shadow of your accomplishments and feel like I need to be punished due to this. So I still have a lot to work on, especially my self-confidence and self-worth. You're like the sun and I feel like the dark side of the moon. Don't judge me too harshly. Try to understand me and be patient if you can. Love, Denise, Jerry, Alex, Bianca, Sean, and William. All right, guys, so we have a letter from the DM here. It seems like they are making some progress, but still a little bit hesitant, a little bit scared about, you know, the heartbreak that can come from this because the love is so strong. Um, they feel like they're never enough for you. They feel like they might even need to be punished because of this. Um, it's just a lot of self-doubt and they're trying to work on this, of course, but they need some patience from you because they're saying, I'm, I'm really trying here. Um, try to understand my situation. That's what they're saying. They're looking for some compassion, right? Okay, so let us go in with some cards and see what's going on in this connection with the comic. Also, let's see uh, one month from now, this connection. Okay, let's go in. I'll go in with the fairies this time. Let's see what the fairies have to say. Some childlike fairy-like energy, all right? Okay. Just taking out. Okay, let's do that. Ooh, fairies. We have a king of spring. Okay, so we have the king of earth here, and there is some sort of financial windfall coming for your person. Um, they are showing their leadership skills more than ever right now, and they are going to have some sort of unexpected money, um, which is going to give them a little confidence boost, and they will show more of their authentic side to people this time around okay so they feel like they owe you something and you know frankly they do okay because you have been helping them all this time you have been sending them prayers you have been sending them love light clearings all sorts of stuff so your person might want to come to pay you back either with a gift or either with some sort of monetary um, offering or some sort of help with their time so they'll say oh I have some time. What do you need help with? Do you want me to come um, help you with your 
apartment? Do you want me to come help you with something? They're going to offer some sort of help. So monetary, uh, time wise or advice, something like this, right? So your person is feeling good about this whole situation because it seems like they're going to get finally what they've always wanted, which is some sort of stability, security. And it might come in the form of like a big um, windfall of cash. Okay, so they could be um, finally settling some sort of um, legal issue or getting a career boost, a promotion, something like that. Okay, what else, Spirit? Okay, so we see a six of spring in reverse here. And so there is some sort of choice your person needs to make here. Because it seems like this money is coming from, or this this good luck, sudden outburst of like abundance is coming from, um, I'm hearing a legal issue, okay? And it could also come from something that someone owed them. So it's, it's like somebody owed them money or someone um, wasn't paying for, for something and then they finally started paying and your person got the windfall, okay? So um, it feels like it came from a, a place where your person was frustrated with the situation and finally now it's like all being covered. But your person's reputation had been tainted by the situation, okay? So there were some people talking behind their backs. There's some people who are saying that your person... Um, caused this situation or, you know, blaming your person for how the situation turned out. There's something about that that is is not all in their favor. So they do get the cash, they do get this favorable situation, but in the same time, their reputation has been tarnt, uh, tainted. Okay, let's see what else is going on. Okay, we have a Prince of Autumn here. And so it says that your person wants to be very knight-like with you, right? They want to come forward. And we said they will come forward with an offering of some kind. And they will also try to spread this um, abundance with charitable events or charitable situations. So they will try to give back to the community. Um, they're going to try to show you that they're serious. They're going to try to show you that they can provide security for you. They're going to try to... Um, make your situation a little bit better, that kind of thing. So they're going to try to pay you back in some way, right? And you might be a little bit, you might be a little bit doubtful about their intentions because they have never really um, offered to pay you back or offered to be nice in that, I mean, not nice, but offered to take care of you in that way. And you're thinking, oh, are they trying to manipulate me again? What's going on? Blah, blah, blah. But your person is serious this time they are being authentic about this and you might be doubtful about their authenticity because they have done this before where they came to you and you know tried to help and it was not genuine but this time it is genuine okay so they're gonna offer their help to you and it is genuine okay nine of spring protect the fruits of your labors all right, so Spirit is also saying that you as well are um, someone who is moving up, okay? Your career, your abundance, all of this. We see all these ladybugs in this uh, card. And for me, ladybugs also represent fertility. So some of you are going to have um, get pregnant or have a child or adopt a child. It's also about birthing a project. And so what they're saying is whatever it is that's birthing inside of you, you need to protect it. So maybe you need to protect your um, logo, your property, if it's a book that you're writing, something like that, and prepare in case somebody is going to try to steal it, right? There's also uh, a part of this card that says get in connection with nature and it's going to help you birth these projects as well. But the nine of spring is definitely all about you um, moving into a new phase, moving into this new sort of blossoming energy where you will be developing really, really well. And Spirit is going to show you the path, show you the way. Because um, this Nine of Pentacles right here is about you just being this close to success. Okay. Well, let's go in. OK, 
Okay, let's see what's going on with the karmic relationship. So that's a third party, right? What's going on there? Okay, so we have the Empress. So this feels like the DM needs to watch out for baby traps because the comic might be thinking about um, doing a baby trap here or the, the comic might be starting um, some new project as well. And the new project could be having a child with the DM. Okay, so they need to either they've decided on this with the comic or um, the comic has decided on this themselves and will try to trap the DM here. So they need to watch out if they do not want to have a child with the comic or start a new project with the comic. All right, what else is going on here with the comic? Um, basically feeling like they're being left behind by the DM, um, realizing that their heart is not in this relationship and that their heart is somewhere else. Comic realizing that they themselves might not be that into this um, relationship either because we see this hand right here offering something this hand coming from the outside right here it's offering something and then this person is not even looking at it they're like oh yeah whatever um they are outside of this relationship already like their heart and their soul is outside so you know they will be thinking about oh do i really want to stay in the situation or do i need to get out very soon so the comic is feeling kind of bored, comic feeling left behind, that kind of thing. We have a two of pentacles here. Okay. So what else is going on? The, the comic is looking to find more balance in this relationship. Trying to adapt to the situations that are ahead. But they do feel from this card that they need to secure their position. And they will try to secure it financially. And they will try to secure it also through some sort of um, convincing persuasion, manipulation. And um, they're going to just try to stay as stable as possible so that there's no waves being made in this relationship right here. So I feel like some of you DFs out there are going to get um, some dreams about the comic, about the comic coming to you in a dream, about the comic telling you to leave the DM alone. Or about the comic saying, oh my gosh, we're too, you know, we're great with each other. Why are you stepping in? Why are you interfering? That kind of thing. And I feel like the comic here is trying to fight back to keep the DM in their field, in their energy field, in this relationship. Even though the comic recognizes that they get bored and stuff like that, they do not want to leave this DM right now. Okay. All right, one more card here. Okay, so we see the lovers, and so this just tells me that, you know, the comic is trying to seduce the, CM, the DM again, and um, is going to pull out all the stops so that they stay in their beds. But this also tells me that the comic might have someone on the outside um, that the DM does not know about. Could be a secret lover or a secret admirer that is in the space with the comic here, and so the DM needs to be aware of this. Okay. Um, a lot of sexual energy around the comic here. And we see that arrow northwest east. They, like they don't know if they're coming or going. Um, that kind of thing. Okay. So let us go in and see where this relationship with the DF and the M will be one month from now. All right. Let me choose. I'm going to just choose a deck here. Let's get a good tarot here. One month from now. Well-deserved reward. Okay. So that is on top of another card here. Let's just see. Sadness and isolation. So you're coming out of this sadness and isolation. All right. Because this came out in reverse. So you guys are coming out of this period. And I feel this period was... Um, end of last year, this year, beginning of this year, that kind of thing. It might have lasted for a while. And you, some of you are coming out of this, either by yourself, finding new joy in life, even though the DM has not come forward completely. Um, you are coming out of this period. And they're saying one month from now, there's going to be some sort of well-deserved reward for the DFs. 
And this could also be in the form of like contact with your DM or them coming forward with an offer. Okay, so you can look forward to this. We have the number nine, which is new. It's rebirth here about what's going to happen between the DF and the DM. It's, it's also about a possibility for union. Okay, you guys are strengthening your bonds, even though you might not be in contact. The DM does feel that you are changing and you do feel that they are changing. And so this is strengthening the, the twin flame bond. And um, this is the DF just walking through those trees right there towards the light, knowing that everything will be fine, feeling the energy of the DM around them all the time. Let's get one more card here. And we see this love, okay? And number six. So this is also about making decisions, okay? making decisions about what needs to come next and i feel here because it came out in reverse a little bit um it seems like the df might be doubting whether they want to be in this type of relationship or not because i feel for a lot of you out there you have um kind of put uh put some sort of ultimatum on this relationship saying that Look, I'm not taking this DM back unless they do this, this, and this. And so even though you feel the bonds, like you guys are coming closer, you're saying, oh, but has he changed? Has he done this, this, and this? And, and you're still, you know, waiting to see some concrete changes here. So this is what I feel is coming through. So one month from now, I feel that you're going to be still very strict um, but you do feel like things are coming together, like your person might make an offer here and you will be still wondering, are they ready? Are they ready? Okay. Okay, so I'm pulling one more card on this love card in reverse and it says dedicated effort. So your person still needs to make efforts um, when it comes to this relationship and when it comes to you because their heart is in the right place, but their actions still need more effort. And this is what you have been asking them for in order to have this union, right? So one month from now, it might be them coming forward, but you saying, wow, is this for real? Did you make the changes? And them saying, not all. And you are, you know, just coming down on them saying, no, you got to make all the changes. So I'm going to leave you with this right here. But I do feel that the DM and the DF are coming closer. I can feel it here especially since they had this little break, it's going to push them towards you, okay? Because they're going to feel a little bit more worthy now. All right, so I'm going to leave it here. If you do like these readings, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell for me, and I will bring you more of these. Love and light. Take care.